Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let's try to understand discount with help of some examples. Please read the question on the slide. It says that an item marked at Rs. 840 is sold for Rs. 714. What is the discount and discount percent? Let's try and solve it. It is given that mark price of the item is Rs. 840 while the sale price is 714 rupees and we are required to calculate the discount and then the discount percentage so let's use the formula for discount which is discount is equal to mark price minus sale price which would be 840 minus 714 and it comes out to be 126 rupees next thing we have to calculate is discount percentage we have already discussed that discount percent is always calculated on the marked price and the formula was discount percentage is equal to discount by mark price into 100 let's substitute the values discount is 126 rupees mark price is 840 rupees multiply by 100 in the formula so when you calculate this it will come out to be 15% and hence we have calculated discount and discount percentage let's take another example please read the question on the slide it says that the list price of a frock is rupees 220 a discount of 20% is announced on sales what is the amount of discount on it and its sale price Let's start and solve this question. Remember that mark price is same as the list price. Mark price and list price are same thing. It has to be noticed. And to solve this question, we'll, we will use another approach. We have known the unitary method in the previous classes in which we calculate for single thing and then we multiply by the number of things. In the question 20% discount is announced. So since we are going to use the unitary method let's take mark price as rupees 100 then we say that if 20% discount is there on mark price of rupees 100, that means 20 rupees on MP of rupees 100. That means if MP is rupees 100, then discount is 20 rupees. If MP means mark price is rupees 1, then discount would be 20 by 100. But in the question we are given that MP is 220 rupees. So if MP is rupees 220, then discount would be 
ट्वेंटी बाय हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू ट्वेंटी एंड ऑन सॉल्विंग दिस वी गेट रुपीज फोर्टी फोर टू बी द डिस्काउंट एंड इन द क्वेश्चन वी वर आस्ड वॉट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ डिस्काउंट ऑन इट सो दैट मीन्स फर्स्ट पार्ट इज सॉल्व द डिस्काउंट इज रुपीज फोर्टी फोर वी आर ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड टू कैलकुलेट द सेल प्राइज ऑफ द फ्रॉक एंड वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड दैट द डिस्काउंट इज रुपीज फोर्टी फोर देन टू कैलकुलेट सेल प्राइज सेल प्राइज वुड बी द मार्क प्राइज माइनस द डिस्काउंट A marked price was two hundred and twenty rupees, and if we will subtract the discount from it, we will get the sale price, that is rupees one seventy six, is the sale price for the frock. We have already explained cost price, sale price, profit percent, and loss percent. Now let us try and understand these terms using an example. Let's read the question in the slide. It says that Sohan bought a second-hand refrigerator for rupees two thousand five hundred, then spent rupees five hundred on its repair, and sold it for rupees three thousand three hundred. Find his loss or gain percent. From the question itself, we can find out. That the cost price of the refrigerator is rupees two thousand five hundred plus rupees five hundred that he spent on repair. Then the selling price is given to be rupees three thousand three hundred. So let's calculate whether SP is greater than CP or not. That means let's find out he got a profit or he got a loss. CP is equal to Two thousand five hundred plus five hundred. The extra cost that he bore comes out to be rupees three thousand. Then the sale price is given as rupees three thousand three hundred. Clearly, sale price is greater than since our sale price is greater than cost price. implies there is a profit he made a profit now we have to calculate how much profit he got so let's calculate profit in terms of rupees first profit would be sale price minus cost price that is 3300 minus 3000 Which comes out to be rupees three hundred. Now we have to calculate profit percentage. Remember, profit percentage and loss percentage both are calculated on cost price. Now this three hundred rupees he gained on investment of rupees three thousand means cost price of rupees three thousand, and we have to calculate the percentage. So let's solve it. And his profit percentage comes out to be ten percent. So how easily we have found out the gain percent. Let's try and solve another example. A shopkeeper purchased two hundred bulbs for rupees ten each. However, five bulbs were fused and had to be thrown away. The remaining were sold at rupees twelve each. Find the gain or the loss percent. To find the gain or the loss percent, we first need to calculate the cost price or and the sale price, and find out whether SP is greater than CP or not. So let's calculate the cost price of hundred two hundred bulbs. So CP. Would be rupees ten multiplied by two hundred. That would be equal to rupees two thousand. Now this is the cost of two hundred bulbs. 
It is further given that five bulbs were fused and had to be thrown away. So, number of bulbs left that he can sell. Okay, this would this figure would be required to find out the sale price. So, number of bulbs left. is equal to 200 minus 5 since 5 had to be thrown away so 195 bulbs were left it is also given that the remaining were sold at rupees 12 each that means selling price of one bulb was rupees 12 implies that selling price of 195 bulbs would be 12 Rupees twelve into one ninety five, and it comes out to be rupees two thousand three hundred forty. Clearly, since cost price is rupees two thousand, while sale price is two thousand three hundred forty, implies that SP is greater than CP. and hence he made a profit so let's calculate profit in rupees first so profit is equal to sale price minus cost price and it comes out to be 340 rupees now what is left in the question just to find the gain or the loss percent or that means we have to calculate the profit percent so to calculate profit percent let's substitute in the formula our profit is 340 rupees over the cost price cost price is 2000 rupees and multiply by 100 If you will solve it, you'll get seventeen percent. So, he, the shopkeeper, made a profit of seventeen percent.